All right, the first thing I gotta say, y'all, I am so sorry about yesterday. <laughs> I straight up told you guys there'd be another video and you guys got absolutely nothing. I was so tired. After that video, I laid down and took a nap and I slept like most of the day. I was just so exhausted. So I figured I would just wait until today so that I wasn't up all night recording and editing videos. So you probably already know this news, but for those of you that do not, welcome. We had a patch yesterday and we're gonna be talking about it here. How important is it? How big is it? What did it change? Well, the official Sims team actually does not mention this patch at all on their Twitter account. It's just on the Sims Direct Communications, and I'm pretty sure that the official Sims Twitter usually does post about the patches, right? Well, they didn't this time at least, but the Sims Direct Communications Twitter tweets, today's update to the Sims 4 includes a number of bug fixes alongside some important changes to the controls on PlayStation and Xbox. Based on all the player feedback you have provided, check it out here in the patch notes. Okay, so I know that there's been some issues with controls on console. There has been a lot of simmers complaining and rightfully so about things not working correctly. I don't really understand the scope of that because I don't really play on console, but I'm hoping that things have been changed for the better here. And of course, we knew about the bug fixes because we received a laundry list last week. So the patch coming this week was only expected. Plus they did say patch this month. And I mean, what, today is the last day of May. So it made sense that the patch was either going to come yesterday or today, which it did come yesterday. So let's dive into this patch here. So we have gallery maintenance, console updates, and more. Hello Simmers. Kicking off with the ongoing maintenance, we know you are probably missing the gallery right now. We promise it will be back up and running as soon as possible. The extended maintenance is part of an initiative we have to move the gallery to new backend systems and services which will bring with it additional flexibility and future feature updates. Okay, they don't really mention it here but I'm really hoping this has to do with filters and content that's being uploaded because I don't know if you guys remember but people were uploading really really offensive things, really Really offensive families to the gallery. There were no filters. They were making it through and people were seeing these things and they were hurtful things. So I'm hoping that these changes are in correlation to those issues to help prevent those things from being uploaded in the future. Really, really hoping that is the case here with this. Don't worry. All of your creations, comments, likes, and downloads will be coming over to the new gallery and will be there waiting for you when the maintenance is complete. So they talk about new gallery. So I wonder if it's going to look different. I wonder if it's going to have a new interface or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. At launch, PC and Mac simmers may notice that the news tab isn't there and the gallery news feed is not feeding anymore. This is temporary and we will be looking at bringing them back in some form at a later date. Console players will also get these features when they return. Trending hashtags will be unavailable, but you will be able to search by hashtag as usual. The hashtag panel will return. Hashtag hashtag wait, is that like Googling Google? Commenting from website will be temporarily unavailable when the gallery returns. Our focus is on bringing the game systems back and running smoothly. This means that you will be able to read comments on the web gallery, but you will need to be in The Sims 4 to leave new comments. Due to technical issues, the gallery will be temporarily disabled on Max running El Capitan 10.11 and Sierra 10.12. All items previously downloaded will be available in my library as usual. We will be bringing access back to players on those OS as soon as possible. For updates on gallery availability be sure to monitor at The Sims Direct on Twitter. While this update is available to download and play, the gallery will be unavailable while the team works behind the scenes on bringing the new services online. When the gallery returns, you will not need to do anything additional as long as you have installed this update. One returning feature is that The Sims 4 will automatically connect to the gallery when the game launches rather than connect on demand which we added when we invited more simmers into the game by offering The Sims for for free. Console simmers will need to link their accounts to an EA account either during game launch or by opening options, game options other and selecting link EA account. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe part of the reason that they're doing this is because when they made the game available for free, the game has grown significantly and I guess maybe the servers or whatever just can't handle the amount of people so they have to just change how things work to handle the amount of people that we have now. Simmers will need to update to this version of The Sims 4 to access the gallery, the older clients will not be able to connect. Wow, all that and we haven't even started on the what's new. And bug fixes, let's go ahead and jump into those. The Sims team. Okay, so you have to have your game up to date to the latest version to even get onto the gallery. So if you're one of those people that doesn't want to update your game, 
you're not going to be able to use the gallery. You're going to have to download those updates, which I mean, I guess can be a bad thing for some people. I know some people don't like updating their games right away because they want to see what's breaking. And if something is breaking, they want to just wait until it's fixed. But if you want the gallery, you're going to have to be updated. What's new? We return to consoles with some big changes. We have been busy reviewing all the feedback you have been providing regarding the controls on the PlayStation and Xbox versions of The Sims 4, especially around the recent changes, and have made some important changes in this update. First, based on your feedback, we have restored some previous functionality in build mode and made some additional improvements to bring consistency between game modes and what controller buttons do. For example, in Create a Sim, CAS, the bumper buttons would switch between sims, but in live mode you would have used the triggers as the bumpers would adjust the game speed. With this update, in live mode, switching between sims will be handled by the bumper buttons to align with CAS, and the triggers will adjust the game speed. This is interesting because I am reading on Twitter right now that things are not fixed, things are not good, so I'm really, really nervous. I've seen so many simmers posting video clips of them attempting to build things and it's just not working. And I know that this has been an issue for months since like what, January or February? They really didn't address it. They didn't fix it until now. And it seems like things really aren't fixed. I'm hoping that at least for the majority of people, things are fixed, but there are still simmers that are still having issues after this, which is not good. Previously, tiles, doors, windows were rotated by pressing triangle on PlayStation and Y button on Xbox. We have aligned these objects with other objects and they can now be rotated with the bumper buttons left and right. Windows and doors will use the triangle or Y button to now place multiple, while tiles will use the button to switch between single tile or full room modes. There are some subtle differences, but we feel they reduce the overall complexity of playing The Sims 4 on a controller. We recommend that you enable Show Controls Legend Game Options Other to get an idea of the new shortcuts and layouts. The controls overlay is always available by pressing L3 on PlayStation or L on Xbox if you prefer to play without the on-screen prompts. Next, while you are in build mode, when you select an object from the lot, the build catalog panel will minimize returning screen space for you to navigate. You can also switch cursor modes by tapping the touch pad on PlayStation or the view button on Xbox while you are in the build catalog to select items from the lot and when you return to the catalog you will be presented with the last objects you were viewing, allowing you to pick up where you left off. We have added a number of shortcuts throughout the game. One such shortcut can be found in Create a Sim whereby if you are editing your Sim's appearance you can press up on the D-pad to jump to the Identity panel. If you press down on D-pad you will be able to quickly add or remove Sims from your household without needing to toggle cursor modes or navigate with the cursor in that part of the screen. These updates look to give you the options you have told us you want, along with quicker navigation through the game to do more with fewer button presses. We will be continuing to review Answers HQ and look to continue to build on things with your feedback. Yeah, I don't know if this is fixing the issue that console players are actually having. A lot of people are really, really upset under the Sims Direct Communications tweet, the one that I showed you at the beginning of this video. I've kind of been out of the loop because I've been asleep so much the past 24 hours that I'm just now waking up and really seeing what people are saying. But a lot of these top replies on Twitter, one coming from Mitzi247, how about you guys do a survey about game updates improvements just for console players so we can give you better feedback for future updates because randomly changing basic controls that no one has issues with isn't it. Another user tweets, this used to be the other way around and it was so much easier to play that way. Why change it? This is so aggravating to me. Like why flip controls? That's been there for years. That's what I'm saying. When you get used to playing a certain way, it becomes muscle memory. And then they just change it, say that they're making it easier, but then it just becomes harder because then you have to readjust. At least let there be an option for you to change if you want the original controls or the new controls or not. And I'm also reading here that this isn't fixing the problem that comes players have been having since January, which I'm confused if that is even related to this at all. Yeah, console players are frustrated and honestly, as they should be, because I would be frustrated too if they just came in and changed my controls. I feel like lucky that I can play on PC and Mac where I don't have to worry about them doing that. So this is definitely very irritating and I can totally understand. Share your thoughts below in the comments of this video on what you think of the controls, if you think this is better or if you think this is worse. They also say we will be continuing 
continuing to review Answers HQ and look to continue to build things with your feedback. If you guys have feedback, if you guys are upset, please head over to Answers HQ. I'm going to link this on my website. It'll be pinned in the comments below. Head there, make an account, voice your concerns, speak up. The more people that do this, the more likely they are to actually change things back to how they were. All right, now we are on to bug fixes, guys. Bug fixes. Base game. When going through CAS stories, your sim will now confirm that their aspirations and traits cannot be modified. The tooltip on the reset button for the UI scale setting, options, game options, accessibility, will correctly reflect if you are using the game defaults or not. Excessive jogging can be bad for you, but for your sims it shouldn't mean they are stuck with pulled muscle and fatigued uncomfortable buffs forever. The buffs will now expire over time, maybe next time stick to just a walk for once. Sims will get age-appropriate moodlets and buffs, but sometimes don't we all get sad in a strange place? They have listed a bunch of benches that should now appear as outdoor furniture and count towards lot requirements like parks, so that's good. There are additional body scar options for male sims. Mini Mission Crib, Kindermaid Kinder Crib, Blandco Contemporary Crib, and the Travel Crib by Gordian now all include energy values when viewing them in the Build Mode Catalog. Erratic Want Slash Whim now shares the same image as the trait. The YM Top Underscore SDX 016 Rolled Top is correctly categorized and will only show up when removing the Feminine Filter tag. The Gallery Slash Library button on the main menu will remain left aligned even if you take the game offline and then reconnect, just where it should be. When starting a scenario while enable guidance system is enabled, options, game options, tutorials and tips, or started manually, Emily should no longer fight for screen time over the scenario requirements and create a sim. Building a relationship between photographer and model takes time, at least it should. It was noted that the relationship and reputation increased too rapidly while taking photos of or with another sim. Family trees, by definition, keep growing. Now your sims will be once again able to view their grand and great-grand lineages. Toddlers can use the Babel interaction on large stuffed animal toys like Blarfy as much as they like and won't need to wait hours between babbling. I need to say I am specifically happy about the family trees. That is something I was really really hoping to be fixed in this update so so happy to see that. And there were also a bunch of assets here that now all show the environment value in the tooltip. There's a lot for comments console as well guys console improved legibility of the controller legend labels when viewing notifications disabling the social features in game options while viewing the gallery should no longer force you to look at just the game options screen until you restart the game still they are interesting options viewing the venue information from a lot placed from my library or the gallery will not lock the controls to the ui elements using the move lot option will not prevent you from rotating the lot disabling the show controls legend setting in options, game options, others should hide the button icons and labels from the gallery. If you need a reminder of what they are, click in the left stick to view the controls overlay. The controls legend should no longer disappear after adjusting the UI scale, options, game options, accessibility. Cursor will no longer disappear after using the relationships panel. Resizing objects in build mode is possible again. While holding the object you want to resize, press and hold L2 plus R2 PlayStation slash LT plus RT Xbox, then press left or right on the D-pad to adjust the size and place your giant or tiny object into the lot when ready. As part of the changes to build mode for the controller, the focus should no longer prevent switching between control types. The controls overlay L3 on PlayStation forward slash L on Xbox should be accurate at all times. We have gone through and removed excess or inaccurate button call outs to make the overlay easier to read and understand. Okay, so I like feel like I can't even really comment on these console changes because again, I don't play on console. So I don't know if this is good or bad. That's why I want you guys, if you're playing on console, to tell me what you think of these things because I don't know if these are good or bad changes, but I'm assuming based off of what I've seen on Twitter that a lot of what's changed definitely isn't good. Have you updated your games? Have you loaded them up and played? What are your thoughts on the changes? Season. Adding Seasons Expansion Pack to an existing saved game will no longer put you in a Season Select Nightmare when trying to purchase and open a business. Island Living YMACC underscore necklace EP07 beads tier underscore white can be customized with a selection of color options. Snowy Escape There is a lot to learn in Snowy Escape, 10 pages of lessons in fact. 
The page numbers should no longer be cutting off, allowing you to keep up your mountain climb excursions based education more effectively. Workaholics should not burn out at the same rate as Sims without the same lifestyle. Cottage living. Purchasing seeds on consoles now includes additional information on how to complete the purchase without needing to view the controls overlay screen to find the corresponding button. High school years. Teens that get expelled from high school will no longer be able to re-enroll. YMACC underscore necklace EP 12 chain underscore solid black now has an array of color options to pick from. Growing together. Sims with tracked milestones won't forget about them if they are moved into a non-plate household. Sims can now have the difficult family dynamic with their spouses. Who squeezes the toothpaste from the middle anyway? Shelf floor 2x1 underscore EF13 Genefo fireplace underscore set 1 shows eco footprint industrial and functional off the grid values in the tooltip. Fireplace floor 2x2 underscore EP10 gene standing underscore set 1 shows functional off the grid value in the tooltip. Paranoid and squeamish self-discovery moments should be less frequent after declining either one. Decrease the frequency of self discovery when sim is promoted okay i think these are really good improvements for growing together i do have to say all right so we have three more and there's even some fixes here for a kit wow okay laundry day stuff we have called in a repair service job and they came by and made improvements to the washing machines and dryers to make them more reliable carnival streetwear we couldn't get enough of carnival but it wasn't the expectation that ymacc underscore necklace sp30 feathers underscore duo pink blue dk would show up twice and create a sim now it should only appear once still it's good to keep the celebrations going all year long Talking of which, WMACC underscore necklace SP30 feathers underscore duo pink blue DK should have its full color options available to pick from. Basement treasures. We found the keys to the sculpt floor inventory 1x1 underscore SP41 G in chest, and it can now be opened and used for storing all your treasures. Okay, so some changes and fixes to some duplicate items. Not surprised about that. And even the chest, guys. Now functioning properly. Happy to see this here, of course. And also laundry day fix too that's nice to see i remember there were some improvements in the last patch update we received for dine out but nothing here this time share your thoughts below on what you guys think of this patch i feel like if you play on pc and mac i think this is definitely a really good patch but for consoles not so much and i understand the outrage again make sure you guys head over to answers hq right here i'm gonna have all this linked to my website pinned below so that you can leave your feedback please leave your feedback the more people that go on there and express their concerns of course constructively the higher the chance of things being fixed if there's any more news i will be back as soon as possible take care guys so long and happy simming